So, hey there guys, how are you all doing? Welcome to this new series which I'm going to do, which I'm going to call uh, Investment Diaries. And I'm going to try to do this every week. And the idea is um, every week around Monday or so, I'll take some of the players that I have invested in on my club and I'll put them up for sale and I'll get them to sell um, before Wednesday. Then on Wednesday, I'll show you how much this player sold for, what, what, the, what the profit was. And then I'll go and I'll invest in the... You know, the current team of the week players and then i'll show you how much i paid for them and we'll just keep that cycle going ideally i would like every week i would sell the players that i bought say four weeks ago or something like that but uh i'm not sure if I, i'm always going to do it like strictly like that um because sometimes i want to keep the player for more time for less time uh you know things like that but let's get on with the players here and i'm good uh everybody already sold i'm going to be showing you how much everybody sold but uh, I'm still going to figure out, I recorded the prices that I bought. I'll uh, probably put it somewhere on the screen, you'll be able to see. Uh, uh, so the first player is in from Royce. Uh, he was the biggest profit, definitely, in this episode. You can see I uh, sold him for 199,000 coins. And I bought him for 71,500, I think it was. I have a little Excel thing. Oops. Excel thing uh, going on here on the side. Uh, you can see uh, 71,500. I uh, bought him for. You'll probably see the, the thing on the screen. Okay, and I just want to quickly add something about Royce. And he's one of those players that it probably, if he came out right now, in form right now, I probably wouldn't invest in him because, like, the market is completely different now from when he was back in the, well, back when he came out. When he came out, he was one of a select few players which were in form already. And uh, now, you know, the market is much more established. And in, a, in a, about a month, we will have, like, the January upgrades, we'll have the team of the year. So there's a lot of other things that can be going against uh, investing in him. But actually, when I first bought him as well, uh, bought him for 71, I think it was. Uh, I think it was going for about 75, 80, something like that. But I was going to just sell him on like straight after just to make some profit. But, um, and then maybe buy him back on the, the Wednesday, uh, that following Wednesday. But I just decided to, to just keep him because I probably wouldn't find a cheaper one in that uh, period. But anyway, next player is in from Rodriguez, uh, which we bought for 11750 I did mention, if you remember, on my road to a million that I had bought another one to invest. And this was the one. He was definitely going for, you know, um, 12, 15K, something like that at the end of the week. And now he's going for about 45750 dollars I'm not sure why he keeps telling me to, to do this. I'll probably refresh the page and I'll come back. Okay, so moving on here, next player we have is close. You can see I'll sell him for 25,750. And I gotta stop clicking here or else my Excel thing goes away. But I bought him for 23. So uh, very little profit on him. This price didn't really go anywhere. But still, uh, it, was, it was a profit that I made 1.4K, 1.5K, something like that. Uh, pretty decent. Then we have Inform Kosciani. Kosciani. Uh, Bought for 67,500, uh, uh, sold for 67,500 after I bought him for 30k. And uh, I was pretty sure his price was going to go up because uh, there was definitely going to be a lot of demand for him. You know, he's got good stats, he's in the BPL French. Uh, he's got a lot of reasons for people to want to buy him. Uh, next one we have is in from Lovren, Lovren uh, from Croatia. Uh, bought him for how much was 12,500. And uh, he was in the first team of the week, I think it was, but I didn't buy him until a little bit later. Uh, I'm pretty sure you could have got him for around 10k if you bought him at the end of the week. He was in form, but uh, so him for 30k right now. So definitely, I think a lot of people looked over him when he was uh, out. But if you just think about, it, think how many people are from Croatia. Maybe there's a few thousand people that play with my team. They'll probably at some point want to build a Croatian team, and this guy will probably be their top top choice to to play in in defense. But uh, anyway, moving on here, we have the Bruin. Uh, sold for twelve seven fifty. I bought him for uh, ten two fifty. Not too big a profit, but still all right. And then we have uh, Strutman. Bought him for ten two fifty. This is for ten two fifty. Yeah, ten two fifty. He was in a CDM uh, when I bought him. You'll probably be able to see, uh, which is why I paid ten two fifty because uh, he was already converted to a CDM. But I sold for nineteen seven fifty. Definitely a, a big profit, and he was definitely very very easy to to buy for ten thousand coins. Uh, I do believe I have another one of him in my club, which I'll sell at some other time. But, uh, you know, it's just very, very easy coins for just keeping this guy around for a few few weeks or something like that. Then we have Inform Alvarez, uh, sold for $13,750. I bought him for 
Uh, nice little profit once again. So just pretty much like the the textbook scenario, which is what's going to happen most often, which is you buy a player for around 10,000. In a few weeks, you'll rise to 14, 15, something like that. Uh, next one, we have Westerman, bought for 10,750, sold for 13,750. Again, with the contract staying, uh, it's probably another one of the infamous glitches by EA. But uh, yeah, I was going to do this video on Wednesday, but uh, there was the whole uh, glitching with the coins, 15 million, 15 million thing going on, and the servers were down. Next, we have uh, Jeromel, sold for 12750 and bought him for um, 9.5. Then we have Jinyak, Jinyak. Um, but for 10,000, sold for 18,750. Moving on here to the last two, we have Didot, Didot, maybe. Uh, how much did I buy him for? Uh, 9.4 it was. So it was definitely, you know, nobody really wanted to buy him at the end of the week. I'm pretty sure I did, do have another one of him. And we sell him for 14,750. So nice little 5k or so profit uh, pretty easily. And the last one is going to be Altidar, sold for 31,750. And uh, bought him for 10,000 10, coins. Uh, I'm pretty sure he was in the first team of the week as well. But like uh, Lovren, I didn't buy him until a little bit later. But uh, now let's go through here uh, the players that I invested in on this week. Okay, and just quickly before I show you the players here that I bought, uh, you can see, oh, let me bring this onto the screen. But the total profits on uh, all of these guys was uh, 251,000 coins. So definitely a nice little investment profit. But I'm moving on to the players that I bought this week, uh, or at the end of this week. First one and the most expensive one was uh, Ericsson. What for 19,000 in a CM already with all the with the boost cards? They didn't uh, change anything about him. But the uh, next one is Ilano. Ilano uh, bought for 9,700. I mean, it's one of those guys that I really can't see him going up too much. I mean, I'm not really that hopeful. But you know. He definitely won't get another inform for a while. There aren't that many rise mid options in the Liga do Brasil. And you know, you never know. Uh, it, you know, there's pretty much no risk in doing that. So why not? But uh, next we have inform Poli, uh, but for 9,800 as well. We have a couple of Jesus Gomes uh, for 10,250 and for 10,000. Then we have uh, João Tomás. Another one of those guys, I mean, with the 41 pace, you can't imagine him being too popular. But, uh, you know, it's inevitable that his price is going to rise, even if it is only to 11 or 12,000 coins. And uh, if you ever need the coins, you can always just sell him, uh, you know, to get that extra little bit. Uh, there's really no risk. And we have another one bought for 9,900. And these are just some uh, gift, gift packs, whatever they're called, that uh, yeah, he does sometimes. But uh, yeah, this was the first episode, so uh, thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time, and bye-bye.